Hey guys, it's At Home with Al and welcome back to the channel. So we are just going to be jumping right into today's video because I have some laundry to fold. Um, I want to get outside in the garden and one of those plants. And I also put the two big pillowcases that I bought on the couch. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, so if that's something that you guys are interested in, stick around and enjoy yourself and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so like I stated, we are going to start by folding some clothes. I did let this clothes, these clothes get uh, not piled up, but I got behind a little bit. So now I'm just making sure that I get my laundry folded. I apologize in advance for the lighting. Um, this house gives off whatever kind of lighting it wants to especially when it's partly cloudy outside. It does whatever it wants to do and that's exactly what it's doing right now. All right, so I'm gonna to try to put some music to the rest of this clip. Lately, I've been getting um, copyrighted. I know I'm not um, being paid for being on YouTube, but I keep getting copyrighted and it's like they're taking some songs that I had before and now they're making them a copyright song so um, if I can get some music back here or on here so you guys don't have to just watch me fold laundry then that's what I'm going to do um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this video thus far and I will talk to you in just a moment
Okay, so now I'm just um, enjoying my protein shake. This is um, coffee. It's a coffee protein shake with peanut. It's a peanut butter protein shake with coffee. I try to remember to drink one of these every day to help with my protein. Um, I, like I said, I try to remember. This is pretty good because, like I said, I mix it with coffee, so it is really good. Um, it helps me keep my get my protein up. Um, if you guys don't know, I have some issues going on health wise, and um, that's the reason why I look a lot more swole than you have seen me in the past. But again, I'm working through some things. I'm waiting for one doctor to take me off of medication and all that good stuff, so I can get on with my life. But other than that, um, and I got a lot of aches and pains, um, but I try not to complain about it as much as I can, but I'm dealing with it. So, um, just continue to pray for me, guys. So now I'm trying to get this big old pillow into this big old pillowcase. So it almost looks like a pillow for the bedroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these pillows fluff out a little bit. And once they're done, I'm going to go back, go ahead and stuff them into the pillowcase. But right now we are going to head out onto the porch. And I'm going to be showing you these, or I am showing you, I'm sorry. I am showing you these, um, what do you call these? Pillow covers that I bought. These are the outdoor pillow covers. I got these from Amazon and they were, I think, $18 or something like that for a two pack. They are waterproof and this is just the perfect size that I needed. So I just um, took the pillows that I already had and just covered them up with these pillowcases. And I think it turned out great. This is going to be great for what I'm going to be doing on the porch really soon. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy that video as well. What we do here is go back, 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 back.
Okay, so I didn't wash the car, but I did wash off all of the pollen that was just sitting on there. I couldn't believe how much pollen this car had on it. So I'm just giving it a, giving it a really quick, quick wipe down. And um, hopefully that'll get some of the pollen off of this car. I do need to either wash it or take it to a car wash, but I'll probably do that on Sunday when it's going to be a heck of a lot warmer outside. Alright guys, so um, I trimmed the bushes back just a little bit just to kind of see how they look to give them some shape and I'm loving the way that they're turning out. I only did this one right here. I'm going to um, Walmart tomorrow to get some um, shears so I can give them the proper shape that they need. I wish that this bush was as close as this bush but I'm not going to worry about it. I don't even think I'm going to go ahead and um, I may not pull these bushes up. I may just cut them back just a little bit more um, on either side, but I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to um, cut them. I'm going to go ahead and see if I'm going to cut them. I'm sorry. I'm not going to um, move them. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut these back a little bit more and see if the, um, what I got garden boxes see if they'll fit once I cut them back a little bit more so I'll be doing that tomorrow my um sorry about that my muscadine grapes are showing off y'all look at how well they're doing um these I may try to put in the ground I don't know for sure if they do great here that's fine but if not I may try to put these in the ground and see how they do but I don't know I don't want to shock them from the transplant um also I think I'm going to leave this butterfly chair right here and just leave the lavender right here where it is I do need to cut it down some more um give it another trim I did trim it um earlier I also am trying to figure out if I want to put flowers in the back of here so that way I don't have to worry about you know um unused not unused space but worry about this looking bad back here if i just plant some flowers back here and then put my two um garden boxes or whatever you call those things right up in here in the front here and um that'll be that so i just have to see how i have to go in the shed and get them out and see just how um long they are but i probably won't be doing that until tomorrow until I um, figure out, till I get the shears and see how far back I'm going to be cutting these bushes. Um, Alright, let's go back in here and see if these pillows have fluffed up. Okay, so I'm also looking for a another egg chair. I want one to go right here. I just think it would make more sense if it was two egg chairs right here. Um, but the only one that I was able to find, like... In my price range because I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of money is the one that hang and this right here I don't think it's a it it's not attached it don't hang to anything or it's not a part of the roof or something my husband was telling me um, last year so we're gonna go ahead and look for another egg chair um, I don't know about this chair right here because see it's she's splitting and going on so I'm probably going to need another chair because this is not going to make it another season. It might work for this season when I spray paint it, but I think 
that's probably going to be um the last time i'm able to use this chair so shout out or hint to any uh any one of you guys who want to send me an egg chair i'm open to it i know my channel is small but listen so all right now oh come on bug all right let's go and check on these um pillows All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end today's video right here. Um, I hope you guys will join me when I decide, when I get this um, garden ready for the spring. I think I'm also going to go ahead and get my feet done tomorrow. It's time. I'm overdue for a little self-care, and um, we're going to do some shopping, and I think that's pretty much going to be it. So, I hope I'll see you guys then, and I will talk to you in the next video. Alright, bye.